Yo, what is up, guys? It's Pedro here. We got some big news today. So the Redskins are expected to release Jordan Reed or at least mutually part ways with him. And the Redskins are expected to exercise the team option for Adrian Peterson next year. So he will be back. So if you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get into the video. So that's some pretty big news. We really expected Jordan Reed to get cut. It's really a matter of time. We haven't gotten the official uh, say yet, but we've had a few tweets from Julie Donaldson said right now in the tweet, she said, do not expect Jordan Reed back. And also I'll go into it later. Another tweet said that he's still in concussion protocol. So he's definitely going to, they're going to part ways with him, which his career is just, it's sad in general because he had so much potential and he's just gotten so many crazy injuries and so many unlucky injuries like Keanu Neal doing a stupid boneheaded play in a preseason game that gets Jordan Reed out for the whole year. It's so stupid. And also, the Redskins are still talking with Trent Williams. So expect that news in the next couple of weeks, hopefully earlier. And Greg Olson, honestly, I expect it. I thought it would happen by now, but we'll see. In the next few days, I expect it to happen. I think he's going to come back. Things have just gone. <clears throat> sorry, things have gotten better and better over the last few weeks, especially since Ron Rivera's came back or come to the Redskins. So yeah, and the Adrian Peterson news. I think it's a good move. It's not confirmed yet, but Julie Donaldson is a very reliable source. She she was one of the first people to report that Ron Rivera's come to the Redskins. So I trust her. Adrian Peterson coming back. I think it's a good option. He still can get. If he's the only back, he can still get 800, 900 yards. And with, we'll see if, if Darius Geis is still there. I would still like for Adrian Peterson to get 10 carries a game. And honestly, I hope, I, in the fir at least the first few games, I probably want it to be a little more than 10. Get it like 15, for like 12 to 15 for Adrian Peterson, and maybe 10 for Geis for the couple, for the first few weeks to get Geis back into it. So he doesn't overload himself and then start shifting it to 15, 10 guys and then maybe even lower. And we'll see. I don't think – I think Peterson is still a good back, but I think we need to develop guys more and more. It's just a matter of him staying healthy. And we got Bryce Love. So I do think Adrian Peterson will be on the roster opening day. But if Darius Geis and Bryce Love are crazy good in training camp, Maybe, maybe they'll cut Peterson, but I still don't think they will because Peterson is a insurance policy for them pretty much because Geis is always injured and so is Peterson. So I think it's a good move to get, uh, get him back. Here's what Walker said. She, um, where is it? So she pretty much was the first person to say, here it is. Jordan Reed remains in the concussion protocol almost six months after the violent hit that caused his seventh documented concussion. Throughout last week, sources have told Ben Standig and I that he and the team will part ways. So that, what is that? That frees up about 8.5 mil, 8.8 .8 mil per, for this year. So we're going to be like top 10 in cap space. We're going to have a lot of cap space this year, which is really good news. And yeah, and let's see. Yeah, I just got another notification that Ron Rivera told someone that Jordan Reed's still in concussion protocol. So I feel bad for the guy. He's been seven concussions. He's definitely had more too. Man, it's crazy. So we'll see. I think this off season is going to be huge. We're about a month away from free agency. Free agency starts on March 18th at 4 p.m. I'm very excited. Here's the exact – here's the article. I'll leave it up for you guys. So I'll, I'll talk over it. But, yeah, we have our tight end question mark. We'll see. Greg Olson should be – that situation should be happening in the next couple days to weeks at max if he, re or if he signs with us. And then if he doesn't, we got to go for Austin Hooper, Hunter Henry. And there's been sources that have said that we are going to be 
really pursuing Hunter or no uh, Austin Hooper in free agency, and then also cornerback. We could possibly go for Brashad Breland and James Bradbury, who both have ties to Ron Rivera because Breland, when he left us, Breland went signed a three-year deal with Ron Rivera, but then he and the Panthers, and then he failed his physical, so he went to I think the Packers, and then he went to to the Chiefs the last couple years, but. So I would love that if we get – if our cornerbacks next year are James Bradbury, Quentin Dunbar, and Brashad Breland, I would be, and J- Jimmy Moreland in the nickel or whatever, I would love that. That would be amazing because that would put us at a, a – definitely an above-average cornerback unit in the NFL. And then you add Landon Collins, and we'll see how Monte Nicholson plays out. Or if we get another safety, our, our defense is going to be crazy good. and. And then we just got to – it all depends on free agency, what we do in the draft. Because if we get those people in free agency, get a couple good cornerbacks, then we got to move our money towards tight end. Or no, we, we got to go to either O-line or receiver in the draft. That's my opinion. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I think. Going to be very exciting next couple weeks. Next couple weeks, we got to see if, about Trent, Greg Olson, and the combine is, I don't know exact date, but I think it's February 28th, which is pretty good. Pretty good um, players that are going to be available. Sorry, not available, but we'll see who we are interested in. There's going to be a lot of smoke screens the next couple weeks. We already saw, <clears throat> sorry, we already saw that the Dolphins said that they don't like or they like Herbert more than Tua. You know, this is all rumors and stuff. So we don't know, but I'm very excited for the next couple of weeks. I'll make videos about the combine, who I like, who I think the Redskins should go after. So yeah, tell me what you guys think about all of these things. What do you think about Jordan Reed? I think everyone wants to release him, but some people are kind of crazy. I don't know. Combine February 23rd, and it ends on the 2nd of March, so in a week about. So, yep, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smash the like button. Peace.